And um, before we start, Elmo's gonna talk some shit before we start. Elmo will fucking rain hell on your ass. Listen to me. I swear to God, Elmo will come down there and rain hell fire upon your ass. That's right. Hi, That's right. Davis with you, yeah, NC State's going down. Yes, sir. NCAA yes, sir. Yo, Caesar, dude, when you made that comment on Discord about like that one being a dub. One, my biggest fear about that emote is that someone there's gonna be a hater. I don't know if there is gonna be one, but if there's gonna if there's a hater, they're gonna report that Snowden cocaine emote. It's just because I remember that ball sack one that Nasty Natty had several months ago, and that got reported. That got canceled quick. So I'm just hoping it doesn't. It stay. I hope it stays up there for a very long time. Yeah, it's powdered sugar. There we go. It's powdered sugar. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, pirates. Let's go, pirates. Arr. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. The passion. He's clearly making tortillas. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's baking some bread. He's baking some bread. There's some, like, you know... Got to put all the ingredients over, and he's got to mix it up before he... He's got to, like, you know, do a little poison test before he, uh... He, he puts it together. Yo, Ethernet, welcome in, my dude. How's everything, man? Let's go ahead and get some shout-outs real quick. Got some shout-outs to, uh... Revamp TV, who's in the house. With... Let's go and give out, uh, Jimmy Two Blunts. Jimmy Two Blunts. We got, uh... Shout out to JT Gaming, who's in the house as well, and Cincinnati, uh, Cincy Bowen, Cincy Bowen Gaming, and then also, we got one more, I think, um, Ethernet's in the house, there you go, there we go, we got a bunch of ghosts in the house, if you guys haven't followed any one of those dudes, please go ahead and give those dudes a follow, absolute legends in the NCW community. Yo, T Clink. I forgot T Clink. Let me get the, let me run this play first. It's already we're already kicking off. There we go, kill it. Not bad, not bad. Get a shot to my guy. T Clizzle, Pimpizzle. Yeah, welcome in T Clizzle. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy those new emos that I just uh that I just uh, unlocked today. Yeah, just fucking, just fucking around on the, on the dashboard and fucking, and I looked at emotes, I'm like, holy shit, I can, I can add some more, and yeah, today it was total 5, 10, we added 14 total emotes today. Oh shit, Malenko, you fucking sexy ass beast. There we go. We got second and two. Second down. There we go. I think Wayne Keen off on the corner, but let's see what happens here. If they're coming in hot, then we got to hit the flat. Shit. Run away. Oh, my goodness. I saw I saw the uh, the hook route stop right there. But I, I fucking I panicked. I panicked. That is bullshit. On my end. All right, let's go. Uh. Motherfuck. Third down and a couple of miles. I got passionate about the Canela comments. Lord, didn't mean to. No, all good, man. No, I, honestly, it just I uh, that's just an interesting take. I I, I kind of find it um pretty amusing when um people talk shit in like com combative sports. He sails it long. Oh my god. So you think Floyd would would still whoop him if they're in the same weight class? Since like Canelo is like in his prime technically right now, I want him to fight the Jake brothers or the Paul brothers and just embarrass the living shit out of those dudes. I mean, I know that like they shouldn't be in the same ring as him, but I just want him to teach him a lesson, man. A little misdirection here. Oh my god. Fuck. 
Not how we want to start off the game, guys. Yo, Dark Spectre, welcome in, dude. How's everything, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What up, bitch? From the 20 yard line, first down. Yeah, Patriots manhandled the uh, the Falcons today. That's not surprising, though. Um, Warriors beating the Cavs. There we go. James Gaines with the tackle, baby. Yo, DJ Bozak, welcome in, man. What up, bitch? Not, not now. Floyd is fighting YouTube, right? Yeah, for fun. I think he's chilling in his prime, for prime. But I think so. Yeah, absolutely, dude. So it's second and ten. Ball on the twenty-yard line. Come on, Boneyard, just eating late dinner for sure, man. There we go. Third down, baby. Way to stop that speed option. There we go, there we go. All right, cool. We got a... Uh... All right, alignment looks good. Let's go, Boneyard. Let's turn up, baby. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Dark, what are you having for, uh, for dinner, man? Yeah, I think Prime is uh, enjoying his uh, his retirement after beating Pacquiao. And he's just, he's totally fucking around. Left the crib at 9 a.m. Didn't get back until... Damn! They had a busy day. Gotta play back again. Okay, gotcha. Just for you, DJ. Alright, second and goal. We're still gonna run this man. We're we're way better than, than this team right now. There we go. Yes, sir, baby. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yeah, I think you guys were coming in, man. Ball on the 15 yard line. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Quick throw. Goal, oh, Ty Spot. Come on. Come on, Ty Spot. Solid fundamental pass defense. Dude, you got the position. That was your time to shine, man. Your time to shine. Fuck. Carolina State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's through the upper. Damn it. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Syracuse and Pittsburgh, 10 to 7. Okay. From around the country. Syracuse out front, 10 0. In other games, let's see. The Shanta Clares are 5 and 4, beating Wake Forest, who's 1 and 8. All right, let's get another take here on um <laughs> sliders. Sends it sailing downfield. Let's go! Come on, Collie, Austin, Collie, run, bitch! Oh, there we go! All right, all right. Let's do this over here. Take two. Great job by the return team getting the ball all the way out to uh, midfield. All right, downhill, baby. Let's go. Get a get a push. There we go. What a push. What a push. Yes, goal. Goal, Larks 2019 with the follow. My mistake tonight is uh, trending on Sports Center. Can tonight get any worse? Hope you're well. Doing good. What's the your, your mistake tonight is training on Sports Center. What, what's training on Sports Center? I'm a little lost. From the 38 yard line, it's Yo, down. Toothpick, welcome in, dude. I was hoping a nice comment from Stream Elements. Oh, you know what, dude? I should add something like that. If someone put sliders, I'll be like, fuck you. 
Oh, Patrick Smith with a snag. Yes, sir. I'm Timberwolves ball boy and got dunked on. Are, are you fucking with me? Do you have a, like a little clip or YouTube channel or something? I need to see video evidence or some sort of photo evidence or it didn't happen. Can you post a link on the chat? Yeah, right, Javante. <laughs> Is that you, Javante? There we go, baby. Yeah, it's just like because like last week some guy like lied about being a Division One athlete, which is like close to identity theft. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball is Get the fucking ball, oh, Bishop! Go! Oh my God! Did y'all see the ex NFL player? Um, is that the player that uh, Baker Mayfield was kind of vouching for, Caesar? We've got second and goal. Ball on the twelve. Damn it! At about the nine yard line. There we go. Version 31. Yeah, that, that's where we threw the pick. Fuck. We'll take the three. We'll take the three. This one should be makeable. There we go. The guy who beat his girlfriend in front of his three. I did not see that, dude. I did not see that. Yeah, what? Well, so, Zach Stacy, Zach Stacy, that fuck. Oh shit! Yeah, he used to play uh, running back for the um, the Rams. No, that is new to me. I didn't. I didn't see that in my updates or anything on um, on Beachy Report or like on social media. Yeah, Zach Stacy. I think he was. That was the dude that was like replaced. Uh, who who was replaced by um, Todd Gurley, I believe. it up on stream yeah I'll take a look at it first before I put it on stream there we go fam looks like home security footage I see the video but I for some reason don't believe it's you man you could say you're the ball boy But are you really the ball boy? Oh! He's on the run something. They won't post it. His girl posted a video on Instagram for proof and stuff. Oh shit! Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, Zach Stacy, he's done for, man. Doesn't look like he's gonna have much time to get rid of this punt. Oh, he's totally fucked. Yeah, when you do shit like that, that's uh, 
Oh shit. There we go, kill it. There we go, kill it. Yeah, he's totally fucked. I mean, it sounds like he's fucked. When when you do shit like that, you get caught on camera and it gets posted on social media. You're 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 fucked, man. I I I, I don't know if um. I don't know if uh, if the shits. I mean, I guess it's kind of unfair to um, compare because the whole Ray Rice situation is kind of fucked up too. Like, I shouldn't be be comparing like how bad it is because they're both equally bad, right? But in terms of, like the magnitude of the beating, was it like worse than the Ray Rice, or was it like kind of the same? Or T Clizzle Pimpizzle with the open view, baby. Let's go, T Clizzle. Might be worse than the oh okay. Yeah, right, I'll check that out in a little bit, man. Yeah, was she guys proved that you yeah she recorded posted yeah you're totally fucked, man. That's not. I mean, it's one thing for like TMZ to pull up the Ray Rice thing, but goddamn, dude, if you get caught beating a woman, that's not good, man. I mean, it's already bad enough. Like you're already, if anyone ever lays a hand on their their spouse, you know, vice versa. But the fact that you got caught and it got posted on social media, yeah, that's that's not a, that's not good, man. Shit. Ragdoll there around the crib. Oh fuck, dude. E. The TV phone. Oh fuck, dude. With the little baby watching. Oh shit, dude. That's that's unfortunate, man. That's so fucked up. Yeah, I'll I'll do my uh my research on um or unless anyone has like a link to the video or the article, you uh whisper it to me or send it to me a DM. I really want to see it, you know, for myself because I mean I'm sure it's like out to the public already. Fuck, dude. Oh my gosh, how did he drop that? Broke TV and shit. Oh god. That's terrible, man. That's 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 so bad. That is not good. Third and seven. Ball on the 20 yard line. Oh my goodness. Dude, our offense is not fucking in tune, man. Two games in a row where our offense is not fucking doing good at all. Uh, thank you, Caesar. This will make it a field goal game. We'll take it. We'll take it. Very defensive game. Very defensive game. More correctly, she broke TVs from being thrown into. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Like, you wonder if with Zach Stacy, like, if he had, like, um, like, symptoms of, uh, Symptoms of um, what's the fucking thing? I, my, I'm drawing a blank right now. Fuck it. CTE. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if he had like the uh, the, the the like the after effects of CTE with that not playing football for a while. I mean, I know that shouldn't be an excuse because anyone who beats their spouse is it's totally inexcusable. But what a fucking hit, Daniel Jones. If they were old school TV, she would be in the ER for the cuts and shit. All oh, right, dude. You know how, dude, those fucking TVs back there were so fucking heavy, dude. Especially like those fat back TVs. Gardner with the lick. There we go, baby. Yeah, I'm glad TVs nowadays are safer, lighter. But still, man, that, that shit still hurts, man. Overall, but she she's still alive, though, right? Like, she's... She, but she's just I wouldn't be surprised she's like in hospital getting care maybe in critical condition but she's like not dead right here's third and nine ball on the 26 second quarter baby let's throw up the twos let's throw up the twos baby let's throw up the twos so at the end of one quarter, the Pirates he th uh, threw two punches uh, throws her into the TV and into the jumper the jumper
She looked okay, but she took a nice one. Ah, yeah, that's a... Good God. Glass, but yeah, no, yeah, this, that, that's absolute glass. Now it's like kind of like a... It's not even glass, it's like a... Kind of like plexiglass in a way, where if it breaks, it's like safe. Oh, shit. Fuck! They got the first down. Dude threw two hole punches. I'm sure there's a lot of force with those two punches. From their own 36 yard line. First down. What the fuck? He's got room. Tackle made around the 48 yard line. Good hit, touch spot. Good hit. Damn, last second. From the 48 yard line. It's first down. No cap. No, you gotta, gotta defend yourself, you know. There's there's definitely a line where I think it's totally appropriate he makes it to the for you to defend yourself if if a woman tries to fucking wail on you. Like, of course, like, you gotta be logical with how you defend yourself. Like, if this chick's trying to come out of your knife, you're gonna go fucking guns blazing. But if she's trying to, like, maybe slap you or kick you or something, then you might just give her maybe, like, a little nudge back, you know, kind of thing, where it's, like, where you gotta protect yourself, or this, might, this person might actually legitimately hurt you. And a quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 26-yard line. Yeah, we might not. We might not. We might put a pause on that. We might cancel that. Uh, you got knocked the fuck out. Maybe, maybe when this uh, this topic dies, then we'll, we'll resume. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty-six yard. On the uh, one first one, sound like a slap and the whole punch. Then she looked like a ragdoll after. Yeah, she probably got. She probably got knocked out cold. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's get the option. Damn, dude, this team is, like, fucking manhandling us right now. Let's go! I was about to hit the button right now, too. But I'm, I'm, I'm holding myself back just, just to be sensitive. He makes a big time play here with his what a fucking hit. Run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice short tackle on the ball carrier. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. Doss. They're going to pitch it. There we go, tight spot. Good hit. Picks up about four yards on the baby cry there. Yeah, man. And I, I, dude, with with that kind of like traumatic experience, that shit's probably gonna stick with him for the rest of his life. And so it's another third down upcoming here. I was hoping it was fake. Yeah, shit's bad. Yeah, I know, right, dude? Fourth and five, baby. There we go. Tie game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Heading for the corner. Oh, great spin move, Austin Collie. Great spin move. Fuck this off. Yeah, dude. It's th that's I'm sure that'll be very disturbing to watch. 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start Yo, Mr. Murder Cap with the resub for seven months, man. Thank you so much for their support, dude. Holy shit. There we go, Wayne. Hope you're doing great, Mr. Murder. Yeah, thank you again for the um for the resub and new emotes came out today too. Uh, new sub badge comes out for one and a half years. Uh, or years. One and a half months. No, one, one and a half years. Shit, I get that shit fucking fucked up right now. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy all that. All that, that that's coming out today. First and ten. All on their own yeah, all your support definitely paid off with all the um, things that we can do in the stream. Shall I work? Awesome, dude. Hope, hope work's going okay for you, man. He's on the run. Oh, my God. We're struggling. We're struggling. Chilling at work, busy and cold. I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. 33 degrees and wind howling. Goddamn. Dude, this NC State team is just manhandling us right now. From their own 39 yard line. First down. The Bulls. Yeah, the Bulls, uh. Did they have a game today? I know that they beat the Lakers earlier this week. Hit him wide, hit him wide, hit him wide. There we go. Chai Town. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Bulls with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, what do you call it? With the bandanas. That's a dope ass emo. Off today. There we go. Tough loss last night. Who did they lose to yesterday? The Bulls, I can see them being like a mid mid tier, maybe a top seed in the uh, Eastern Conference. We had a twenty point lead. Oh, the Blazers, shit. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, what's his name? USM was talking about this morning. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the emos, man. There's one pimp one. There's one raging one. Uh, Elmo listening to the slaps one. Um, there's one where he's like stressed out, like twirling in circles, and the one where he's like turning in the rainbow. That's where he's just like sipping a cup of milk. But that's when we're maybe like. Consume some alcohol, or someone is consuming alcohol in another stream. So, let's go, baby! Great fucking play, Daniel Jones with the play in the backfield. Look at that way to fill, way to fucking step up, dude. I like these emos. Yeah, I'm glad you like. Glad you guys like it, man. Yeah, I saw that there was like a what was it? There's a five for the like the the follower. Um, Follower emotes that were available, so I made those like with like the chance of like the my sports teams, um, and then there's like five animated slots that I was able to un unlock in four uh, ordinary, um, four ordinary uh, things. So we have a total of see five plus nine, so that's fourteen with another five. That's uh, nineteen. So that's nineteen available for. Uh, for uh, tier one subscribers. How did I get the animated? I'm not sure to be quite honest. I just saw it being opened on the dashboard. So what I did, I just took a picture and then you can kind of edit. You either make a GIF or you have a picture and then the, you have, there's the effects that they, they allow in there. Okay, Cam, there we go. Stiff his ass down. There we go, baby. Yeah, the Adriano one with the raging one. That one's hilarious. I, I tried to make one like that with the Elmo, but I just couldn't. I, I didn't know how to figure it out. So I did the, the kind of like the standard, the standard animated one. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Yeah, but my favorite one is the pimp one. The pimp one's hilarious. The uh, ammo pimp. There we go, Fit Knowles. I like that. I like that. Let's go. Let's 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 do a little up tempo right now, man. We gotta we gotta change our energy level because we are looking fucking flat right now, dude. This is pathetic. This is not ECU football we're playing in the first quarter and a half of the game. You 
can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime... Yeah, what guy's pimp? Yes, sir. Yeah, this cool. He's got like a like a pimp ring. He's got a cane. He's got that like the the pimp lean. I was having a blast actually making these uh these emotes. Yo, nobody, welcome in, dude. We are playing like absolute hot garbage right now. Hot garbage. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Ooh. Ooh. I'm enjoying that game. Oh, the uh, the prison game. Yeah, you'll you'll probably see Zach Stacy in there. Too soon. Oh my God. Straight ahead for about six yards, and with that, they're going to pick up the first down. They chose to go with a toss play here, and the tailback did a good job of getting upfield and picking up a first down. Nice ball, boy. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Yeah, a little misdirection. Dude, this, this NC State team, they're they are playing NC at another State level right now. Their first time out of the half here. They are playing another level. Four yards on the counter play. Kevin Spacey's joke. Was it because he did like a uh, sexual assault or something like that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. James Gaines with the lick. Turnover chain. Oh, that turnover chain was nice. That is a nice turnover chain. Dirty casual, dude. That's sick, man. Yeah. Good. I, 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 it sounds like my dude is uh, well behaved, nobody. It sounds like my dude is well behaved. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Under pressure. Oh my god. Dude. What the fuck? Into the oh. without making a mistake. You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be shitting me. I'm mixing and matching my my uh my coverages. Fucking. Come on. I will send dark to the hole for sure. Sounds good, nobody. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Right, we got a. Uh... It was three in the very board. I forgot the uh, the questions and like yeah, Kevin Spacey is going to like you. Yeah. That... We'll take it. Loss. That's a loss. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game, or if they decide to open it up a bit more. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All right, what do we got here? People's again out of bounds. We'll take that third down. I'm, like, not watching Family Guy for a while. Yeah, Family Guy, like, after, like, probably, like, the mid to late 2000s, I kind of stopped watching Family Guy because it, I don't know. There's something about it that I just didn't really... That's where I started watching American Dad. American Dad was like more of a... Not as a random, I guess. Don't oh, like Ram Cam Jr. Dude, why are you celebrating? You guys are going to fucking run gases with that bullshit. God damn it. You run your ass off, boy. Get your fucking 
They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. North Carolina State is looking to go up by three. Yeah, it just wasn't fun to me. You know, initially, when the show first started, it was pretty damn funny. But, I don't know, for some reason, they just, it, it uh, the, the, the puns they had, the, the little clips and skits that they had, I, I just, yeah, it just wasn't funny to me. Twice in the end zone. We could have picked it off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 49 yard line. The Pirates. Well, not exactly two picks. At some point, they just have to do what they do. Yeah, it's been working. like probably yeah, over 10, get it going in the second half, it should really 10 plus years since I've watched Family Guy. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players. We no, no, I definitely enjoyed watching the show, but as it went on, it just got worse. Holy shit, dude. Oh, yeah, Mike Oxong. Yeah, dude, we're like this close in the maybe starting him. Both our starting corners dropped the ball, man. Both the starting corners. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. My God. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Shut up, Kirk. I got no protection on that play. There was no protection. Ah, shit. Shit. He goes downtown. Bull winking up with the cash, baby. There we go. You sexy motherfucker. There we go, baby. Come on, now on the ball. Run it. He's scrambling. Just get the first. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Room around the corner, and he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Uh, oh, excuse me, guys. Oh shit, that guy fucking. Holy fuck. Uh, uh. Oh, excuse me, guys. Holy crap. Zips it to the back. There we go, there we go, there we go. Run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fuck. Here's the eighth play of the series. Great kick, Jason Pace. Great fucking kick. Fuck, man. This is not good. This is not good, guys. We are tied at 9 9. We are tied at 9 9 at halftime. But then again, this is a top 15 matchup, so this is okay. This is why we're here. That's half. That's half. Man, what a fight by the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack is... They, uh... They, they brought their paws today. They brought their paws. Glad to have you with Man. us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These two defenses so far... They... Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. And he got all of this one. Great kick. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out Why, why is that, do you think? Well, 
Th does it does it bother you when people or when girls say that? A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. There we go. Too many do it. Well, but my question is, why does it bother you so much? I mean, just because everybody does it, I mean, I get it. It's annoying, but. To be quite honest with, with you, Toothpick, like I'm not flirting with you. Yeah, that means don't waste your time. You have no shot. Okay, yeah, you beat me to that, Dark Spectre. You beat me to that. From their own 25 yard line, it's second down. <laughs> like, is it, do you like want a girlfriend or do you, do you, are you upset that you don't have one right now or? Nice run there. Reddick picks up five with the carry. Or does it bother you that they're dating that dude instead of you? Because realistically, they say like, let's say a lot does it right. I mean, yeah, it, it would be annoying, but it's like from their own thirty-yard line. Because it sounds like it really bothers the living shit out of you, so it's like since you're bringing it up on the stream. There we go, fourth and two. I know I have no shot. Don't mean I can't say hi. Say hi to the girls. the gym get some cash tries to get around the corner and he shoved out of bounds at the 30 and secondly what are you like a i remember you mentioned you're like a what like a freshman in high school or something you're way too young to be even like to even like getting like what's the word to try to be catching feelings right now dude I mean, of course, like, you know, th there's nothing wrong with dating and all that stuff, but, like, the fact that, like, it sounds like you're pretty damn bothered by a lot of shit, especially with other girls, like, it sounds like they want to, they're interacting with other dudes and stuff. It's, it sounds like it's just, like, more of, like, a, like a you thing than it is a girl thing, you know? Yeah, I, mean, I, I get that, that you want to be friendly, but if you're friendly, then that shouldn't bother you. Yeah, freshman year. Freshman year. Freshman year was a, it was a fun but a awkward time. Yeah, I'm sure. It, uh... Oh, what a play by that corner! Holy shit, dude! Yeah, concentrating in school. If you're playing a sport, play your sport. And sometimes, as much as let's say, if you're really into a girl, right? You can't force it, man. And if they don't like you then you got to accept the fact that they don't like you. Or if they're liking another dude, then you got to accept the fact that they like another dude. You, you have to live with it, you know? I mean, I've, I've, I've been there too, man. There's this one girl that I had a crush on throughout high school. I literally legit me simp for this girl. Never had the guts to ask her out or say anything. Except for like freshman year. One time I got rejected, I never said anything ever again. But... But my point is, just, just do your thing and... Don't, don't be too riled up about just because girls make comments that bother you doesn't necessarily mean that gives you the uh what's the how am i say this just pretty much you just gotta accept things the way they are and if you're bothered by it then that's like a more of a you problem than it is a their problem brenda song someone close to brenda song someone close to brenda song dude what the fuck, random what the hell was that, dude? You're like doing the stanky leg in the backfield. What the fuck was that, man? Fuck, dude. That was a terrible run by Random, dude. Random is... He's a Heisman hopeful, but I think he might lose his Heisman uh, 
Heisman candidacy with that fucking run. Get that, James. Oh, James with the snag. There we go. Damn, T. Clears on with the pressure in his face, too. God damn. Do better than anyone in my family. And you know what? That's legit. But how does that relate to what you said initially about if a girl says they have a boyfriend, you're going to say me too? And that you get bothered by it. Why Why girls say it all the time? And now, you, now you're comparing to try to be better or make yourself sound like you're better. But that's not the issue. The issue is the fact that you sound like you're bothered by the fact that these girls say that they have a boyfriend. Yeah, because let's let's try to stick to the subject and not try to like say that you're doing better than anyone in your family or that you got A's and B's and stuff. And we got a touchdown, baby. Because you bring these up and I and I'm 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 trying to have a conversation with you about it and then and now now you say you don't know. So it's like what are you trying to tell me here, toothpick? You can't just just say a bunch of random shit. And then, like, exp like, do you want me to be like, yeah, dude, that sucks. Like, I mean, I can give you sympathy if you're actually going through some shit. But if you're just saying stuff, and then I, I question it because it like, kind of like, it's kind of a odd thing to say, especially when everybody's talking about other things, then it's like, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's, that's fine, you know, but to, to try to make it, make it sound like you're you're okay about it you know that, that there's that this, this is this there's like discrepancies and things that like what you're telling me this deficit can be easily overcome, sure. pretty much what i'm saying is it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me I, i'm just confused at what you're trying to tell me like I, I don't get the whole point of what you're trying to tell me with all those comments that you made Yeah, exactly, Dark Spectre. Throw it away. There we go. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to You don't know a lot, young grasshopper. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Did you hear that? One of the top crowds in the nation. There we go, dude. The Boneyard finally has respect. There we go. There we go. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Fourth and long here after the sack. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Hey, hey, that, that, no answer. No, no, I'm a banter here. You want to fucking go? Huh? He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. Give a shout out to my guy. Yeah, if you guys haven't followed yet, uh, young lad, Elma's your friend. He is a young streamer who streams I will be the show. I hopped by into one of his streams the other day, and he's a uh, pretty entertaining dude. Pretty entertaining dude. So if you guys get a chance, make sure you give him a follow. Support the man. He's a big Elmo fan. Also an Ace fan. He runs my ones. <laughs> no, absolutely. Sometimes it's easier to talk to people that are strangers. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. And that and that's that's totally valid, and I think. But the thing is that also, like, are you able to get help by talking to strangers? You know, or does it really make you feel better when you do talk to strangers? And that's okay. There we go, Wayne. No, absolutely, man. 
holding on to the football. It's definitely hard to talk to people. Quick pass. He's tackled at the five yard line. But another thing that's hard is when 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 you, you you talk to people try to maybe have someone to talk to you right the hardest thing to do is really getting maybe some sort of um, constructive criticism or or getting something because sometimes you know when you want to talk to people or get things kind of worked out it's not going to be what are you doing now good good yeah no definitely i would highly recommend that he's in He's in. <laughs> no, that's really important. I think it'd be really beneficial for you to do that, Toothpick. Because, uh, because, um, yeah, I'm not a mental health professional. Elmo's not a mental health professional. Um, you know, and, and, that, and, it's, it's good that you're finding avenues to be able to communicate and talk to people through Twitch, which is totally great. You know, some people kind of let out their, their feelings, which is fine. But sometimes when there's like very important things to talk about that, I think that's more personal that definitely you should definitely seek a mental health professional just because they will make you do the work to help you get through your, your whatever struggles or, or things that, that bother you. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Yeah, I don't ask. It's not good. Yeah, hit the gym, bro. Hit the gym, make the gains, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, we are here to have fun and have a small community we have. Yeah, exactly. But there's sometimes there are things that are out of that are out of our uh, our scope of practice. So that's where like that's where you should seek seek professional help. It, you, even if it's if you, if if it's a place for you to vent too, you know, because sometimes when you vent here, it might not you might not fully be uh oh shit there we go <laughs> doing good ammo doing good ammo huh another streamer or viewer it's always good to learn to improve your people's skills yeah absolutely man yeah at the end of the day we don't we don't know anyone here yeah exactly are you holding an Elmo Flush while playing? Yeah, I'm holding the Elmo Flush on my shoulder. And he, he's talking he's talking like himself, too. He's, he's like a, in a Toy Story, you know? It actually exists. Toy Story is based on a true story, right, Elmo? I think this defense has got to do something. Because right now, the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to... My therapist is helping me to be able to talk to business so I don't grow up in the right environment. No, absolutely, man. And, and that's good. That's good. Oscar Kaji out. Well, he's going to whoop Oscar's ass. Oscar's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird that. Yeah, this Elmo's, uh, he has a big head. Yeah, he's supposed to be like a um, half Elmo. Or Elmo shaped as Hello Kitty. Yo, Point Break, welcome in, man. O Oscar kind of gangster, though. He lives in a goddamn trash can and he gives no fucks. That is true. He is a boss. <laughs> Even though you call him a bitch. O o Oscar, say your friend. Okay. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that Oscar. No, no, Oscar's not a bitch.
Yeah, happy Friday. Holy shit. We got a week off next week, Elmo. A week off of work. We can run the ones. Yeah, he's going to... Hey, Elmo, he, uh, Elmo's your friend told you to meet him at uh, 420 Street so you can run the ones. Tell Barney to Barney stream for World Star. <laughs> no, Bar Barney's not our friend. Barney? Yeah, Barney. You're there with the purple dinosaur. He's got a stupid song at the end. Yeah. And a song. <laughs> it's goaded. Do you fuck with Barney Elmo? No, I'm gonna die. You got beef with Barney? Yeah, I'm gonna beef with Barney. What would you do if you encounter Barney? Okay. Okay. Gotta kick him with the balls or just that be feet of yours? Okay. See, I, I'm all up there. It's like a like I'm talking like a ventriloquist. Oh yeah, I, I'm a ventriloquist, guys. <laughs> and somehow playing football with both my hands on the controller. Barney, a big purple bitch. Yeah. Seems like they all side with the Elmo. They they call him Barney a bitch. According to Elmo's your friend, Barney was talking mad shit about you. You want to fight? You want to fucking go? Huh? Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Excellent. You know why I'm going to fight? You know why Barney's going to fight? I'm going to fight? Because I'm going to fight behind that ball. Okay, that's it. That's it. Shit. Be a break for sure. Uh, they're making the NCAA again next year, right? Oh, absolutely. Point break. Oh yeah, they, they've been making it for the past eight years. Yeah, new game coming out uh, next year too. No, not really. You gonna sleep, Amo? You gonna sleep, Amo? Okay. All right, hold on, guys. I'll be right right back in just a second. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for waiting. All righty. Second and 13. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get ahead back into the game. Let's go. Honey Badger with the sack, baby. That was what we're just living in at, ah, right? Point break. How you doing today, man? How's everything? And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Defense! 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 Oh my god, Daniel Jones! Come on, man! What the fuck? It was just 9 9. What happened? Dude. Like, like everybody says, man, ECU is a second half team. I don't know, man. I think Elmo was just getting on their ass, dude. They're, they're just underperforming. Let's go. Oh, US, USMC Marine with the sack. 
Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All right. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice. And we'll slide down Sesame Street like asking Abby Kadabby where his money is. <laughs> Yo, James Games, welcome in, man. How you doing, dude? Who's that for fine small? Yo! The finest, I think Team Affinity's coming out tomorrow. Um, was it? Starling Marte. I saw him on the marketplace. I bought him for like 80,000 stubs. I'm like, fuck it. Let's go, Malenko. Oh, oh Malenko with the nasty-ass run. Probably fall asleep. For sure, man. I appreciate you, you swinging by, man. Yeah, there's like going to be a, a Frankie Montaz coming out. I'm pretty excited for that. So that'll be another pitcher. I'm trying to get that Eckersley card right now. Um, I'm at, was it, 11 wins. So I need 10 more wins in the events to get that uh, Eckersley card. How about them Pirates? The Pirates are solid, man. We did have a scare in the first half. It was 9-9 in the first half. And we just fucking... We just fucking making it rain hell out of these guys, dude. I thought about buying some packs, but I'm like, what, what if I don't get Marte, you know? So, that's just my, my, my reason why I bought him. And plus, like, the more I play, the more I can just gain stubs, because I want to get that Vita Blue. I gotta get that Vita Blue card. And plus, like, there's other cards that, I mean, yeah, I should have probably um, bought some packs and sold it, maybe buy, buy some more packs again, but uh, MLB The Show. Yeah, there's a uh, new new cards coming out because the season ended, so they're like making uh like 99, 98, like pretty much diamond cards for the for the game. So yeah, we're talking about Animal Crossing. Yeah, Animal Crossing's got some baller ass um, baseball players coming out in that in that game. Vita is cracked. Yeah, I want to get Vita, dude. Yeah, I was checking out the marketplace and Vita finally dipped because he was at like two, like just less than 300 stubs. Now he's at like 120 something, so I'm like, all right, we gotta take advantage of uh, getting the studs. But I saw Marte, I'm like, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll get Vita, we'll get Marte, cause I can get the Eckersley, and then Montas is coming out. So I thought, yeah, you know, Marte, he, he's he's like a Ricky Henderson like it. His stats actually look better than Ricky Henderson's, to be honest. Now I'm just fucking around with Point Blank. I feel like point point blank is kind of fucking around right now, so yeah, yeah. I, I want to get that Vita card. My my mistake of playing that game is that I did not get like the uh, the bosses. I like for the first I think like two three innings I didn't get the bosses until like midsummer, and that that was my mistake of playing that game because I I'm still fairly like a noob until like the summertime, and that's where I was like, all right, I gotta get these Timothy cards, gotta get these moments, gotta get fucking everything, and the the, the I hated doing conquest, but I was like, you know, what? I gotta do conquest to get this, get this shit. Fuck! Baseball release. You know, the show's still going, dude. The, the show is a great game. I think it's the best uh, fantasy sports uh, sports games out, out there right now. Animal Doom Eternal Horizons. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, dude. The the shows I, I enjoy it. Um, it's a if you want to do a no money spent team, that's the best like game to do it, cause uh, they come out with packs every week, um, and cards every week that's available for free. You just gotta beat a few missions. It takes like probably at least 20, 30 minutes if you do it all perfectly. But if it makes you grind, it might just like create like another maybe like 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long or how decent your um how decent your your hitting is or pitching. I'm glad you came out. Dude, I'm so glad I didn't do that uh, that Chris Davis one. Conquest is annoying because I don't mind playing the games. 
But like the the shit where you have to like sim the the over you know to to attack and stuff, it's just stupid. Bank him. You turned around, but you didn't play the ball. Ever play NHL? Oh, I, I play NHL too. Yeah, I played the Hut. One thing about Hut though, you can't find um. It's very difficult to find an online match on uh, Rivals. Wrote the shows, but like, what I care about. Franchise is cool, but I like what the show. No, definitely, man. Everybody has their preferences and what they like to play and everything. Ace Mooka, number 69. Go, baby. Let's go, Ace. Come on, Ace. Hit the edge, Ace. Come on, Ace. There we go. <laughs> All that running for zero yards. There we go, Ace. Wrote to the show is definitely fun. I just enjoy the uh, Diamond Dynasty more. Just because I like playing uh, online. I really wish I made a uh, continued with the the uh, road to the show. But I just, I didn't have the time to, to grind on the road to the show. And I feel like every time I like leisurely do it, I like make my stats worse. So I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can't make him better. Plus I get really trigger happy. Ooh. We're aiming for two more. So after the season, this is uh, there'll be our back to back, and we'll get our three peat. What a snag by fucking Winkina. We're looking two more seasons because we got some guys uh, getting um, claiming some players. So. Uh, Uh, this upcoming season we have about one, two, four, five, six. We actually have only six people added in, but every year we get like twenty-five to twenty recruits that get a chance to stay. So we're we're pretty much packing up for for our recruits. So I might want to have one more player before you relocate. Okay, yeah, we we do have two more seasons, but I can't guarantee that he's gonna play. Did you see the highlights from the IU and St. John's game? I did not. I did not see that. Uh, what what uh what was the outcome of that? Based on what you're trying to tell me, I think it might be kind of like a nail biter. But you tell me, Mister Murray, what what happened in that game, man? Just thinking about. It. Yeah, definitely, man. I'm like, cause you can save your points for like the new team, or you can save your points and or use it now. It's, it's entirely up to you. Or you can use your channel points to upgrade your dude as well. It's, it's entirely up to you, man. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very Touchdown! Yeah, we went from scoring nine points in the first half. Now we're almost maybe about to get a uh, a 50 burger. I'll just wait. I have 17 games. For sure, man. Where the IU crowd was chanting sloppy seconds, sloppy seconds, sloppy seconds. Oh, shit. I did not see that part. I, I didn't even. I, I don't. It's been really difficult for me for some reason to follow college basketball. The Seth Smith, he was the shooting the free throws. Seth Smith of. Um, of St. John's or Indiana. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. 
Oh, he got through. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. All right, so we got a second and two left. Or on this, this down. High formation. Strong right on our side. Play action. Oh, flea flicker. Okay, flea flicker. And he got fucking clobbered. There we go. That's the first time I've seen a flea flicker attempted to be executed in the game. Damn Wolfpack think they can just come up with some fucking tricks up our sleeves, huh? Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. Defense. 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 Oh shit, he's wide open. Damn, damn corner cheese. Damn corner cheese. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Damn, that 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 must be pretty uh pretty discouraging for the dude if you're getting yelled at sloppy seconds by a crowd. So was there a story about that dude like banging some chick from the opposite team or something and he ended up like not some chick from the opposite team. Some chick who was like maybe dating another player in the opposite team? Or like did he catch some like S E D or some of that? And that's probably why they give him like the chant. And North Carolina State thought they could hang for a the fucking half, dude. They thought they could just hang for a half. They were talking so much shit. Oh, what a play. What a fucking play. Yeah, we'll watch that in a little bit. First, we gotta check out the the mop boy, the mop boy, and then we'll uh we'll check out your your video. Thank you for sharing that, Mr. Murder. I gotta check out Instagram too, just make sure this guy's legit and he's not a Javante. Uh, TDJ is IU's top player, dumped girlfriend, and now dates St. John's guy. Oh, shit. How far is uh, IU from St. John's? Are, are, are they both in the state of Indiana? For some reason, I thought that St. John's was like in New York or some shit. Let's go up tempo, baby. Up tempo. Let's go. Ah shit. Ah shit. Like what Von Von Roy STL says. Computer does not have feelings, so run up the fucking score because who gives a shit? James Games at third! Oh James Games at third. Let's go, baby. Let's get this fucking 50 burger. Hurry up! On the ball! On the ball! Get up there, and we're gonna fucking score a touchdown. Hurry your asses up. Oh shit, that was a bad throw. Ooh, that was a bad throw. Fuck the EHE's monster. Yes, sir, Dark Spectre. Sportsmanship, that does not apply when we're playing computer. I don't give a shit what Kirk Hershey says. I think like last season, dude, there's so many players that create. I'm like, oh shit, we had a guy. 
Yeah. Must be C. I, no, I think since he's like a. Oh fuck. DT clears up his bizzle, man. I think he's tired. I think he's. I think he's tired. Yeah, James, do you have a guy at like at corner or safety, and do you have another dude at receiver, man? You, you claim two dudes. I to, I totally remember that you had two dudes too. And somehow you have like seventeen thousand points, which is amazing. So you can definitely utilize those points as well. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. Fuck you. I don't remember that shit. Yo, honestly, James Games, there's so many players that, like, get redeemed that I'm like, who's your player again? <laughs> yeah, I got banked because I'm a pimp. Absolutely, man. Yeah, this, this, let's go. Let's right, dude. We're fucking, we're fucking, that's right. Where your tears, bro? Where your tears, bro? Where your tears? There we go. There are your tears. Those are your tears. That's uh that that's you uh what I named the quarterback. Oh, so you're this is James Games the third, which is the receiver, and I think James Games the second or junior is the the cornerback or the DB. Yeah, they're all James Games. Yeah, he stands out more. The guy on defense plays more. Uh, the one on receiver he plays until everyone else is like tired or or pooped. Yeah, that the 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 defender is number twenty three, and the receiver is number twelve. Just to get that. That two three action. Stupid ass eleven, you bitch. That's right, Malenko. Get in there, baby. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and check out the. Oh, not the highlights. Let's go and check out the stats. Player stats. All right, T. Clizzle Pimp Bizzle with the one twenty six quarterback rate. This shit's probably this shit's so fucked up right now. Hey, for your host, nice dark specter. 15 for 26, 285 yards, zero touchdowns, and three interceptions, baby. There we go. 126 quarterback rating. Fucking goaded. Um, Russian, uh, Malenka ran him 16 for 124, three touchdowns, 7.7 .7 yards per rush. There we go. T. Clizzle, Pimp, Bizzle, 9 for 36, and a touchdown. Ropes, Pimp, back 3 for 5 for a touchdown. Receiving, we got Wayne Keenum, 5 for 113. Malenka ran him 3 for 18. Killick, Van Cam, the third, with 2 for 27. James Games, 2 for 86. Fick Knowles, 1 for uh, 20. Ropes Pitback Jr. for 5. And Patrick Smith for 16. Blocking, we got Samuel Adams with 3 pancakes and he gave up a sack. Damn it. Snostages with a uh, with a pancake. Uh, James Games Jr. at strong safety with 9 uh, nine tackles, 3 tackles for a loss. Beast. Um, Daniel Jones, 6 tackles, 2 tackles for a loss. Uh, Honey Badger, 5 tackles, 3 tackles for a loss, and 2 sacks. Uh, let's see. Kirk Bancam Jr. with three tackles. Tight spot with three. Patrick Smith with two. That's probably all the, the interceptions. Sammy Danger with two. Cincy Bowen with uh, two tackles and a sack. Dark Spectre, two tackles and a sack. U.S. Marine, a tackle and a sack. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great job of the second half. Great job executing the second half. First half, we played dog shit, but I'm glad my guys flipped the switch and fucking turned around, baby. I'm excited. Next game. Why? This is our